Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So, it's the same day that I've coloured my Carolina Kupikowska picture in and um, I wanted to get on with some more colouring. <laughs> and I can't do that until I've swatched these gorgeous pencils. So, we're going to be colouring in Ruby Charms Big Book of Colour Charts and I'll link that in the description box down below in case you haven't seen it. It's an incredible book. It has all the charts you need and they're even you don't even have to write the um, pencil names down that's what I'm trying to think of um, so what I've done is as you can see by every so often in these colors there are little blue dots now the blue dots are because I brought the 72 set of light fast let me grab the um, box so they come like this in the 72 set of Derwent Light Fast. These were my birthday present from my husband. So, um, and I, I'm in love. And then, I didn't know, I <laughs> don't know how I didn't know, but they come in 100 colours. So, you can get them open stock. But then Derwent, send, send, Derwent have 28 additional pencils that you can buy. And my husband went over and got those for me so that I've got the full set. So I brought this gorgeous lime green, oh, so gorgeous, it's lime green iridescent case, I love it. And I've put all 100 pencils in here, look at them, they are magnificent creatures. If you've ever used the Derwent blender, that's the finish you get on these pencils. So if I select one, they are and I block everything else out. Black print on this gorgeous, like cedar coloured, lacquered pencil. It's smooth, they feel light, with black writing. So for someone like me that's, that struggles to see pencils, these are so clear. Here's the um, Derwent blender in comparison. So if you have those, you kind of get a, an idea of what they're like. Um, and let me just see what else have I got. Well, if we compare it to a white Prisma, here's a Prisma. If we look at the top, that gives you some indication. They're really thick, nice pencils. Oh, that's quite off centre, isn't it? They're really thick, beautiful pencils. And I wish that we could have smell tube because oh, they smell delicious. Anyway. We're going to have to sit and swatch a hundred of these pencils. Somebody asked me to do it, so we're going to do it. So I'm going to bring you right in. And we're going to... Oh, it's got stuck on my tripod again. Oh, bear with me, folks. Bit of a nightmare. Here we go. And I'll just move it as we go along. And I've put them in this case in order of how we need to swatch them. So hopefully... That's my eraser. We don't have many fluff ups. I'm just going to move the light. There we go. Okay, so our first gorgeous colour is banana. So, why is that? Let's bring that down. There we go. Banana. Let's get going. They are really creamy and soft. And um, I've been ahead and sharpened all these, but I've only tested the additional 28 colours that I got because they weren't sealed up. I'm barely touching the page. These are oil pencils, by the way, um, which is something that's quite new, I do believe, to Derwent's range. I think all the other ones that I've got, I'm just going to try and sort this lighting out better. There we go. All the other ones I think are wax based. So this is Sun Yellow. Yeah, so I'm very blessed and very lucky that um, when I realised there were a hundred colours, how I ever missed that, goodness only knows, I um, said to my husband, oh please, I need to have them for my birthday. So I got the mega deal of a lifetime from um, Colt Pens and I got, um, I'm just going to move this light, bear with me, we need more light here. Oops. Is that going to be any better? Um, yeah, I got the 72 set for £140. 
This is just yellow, and this was one of the additional 28 pence. Oh. 28 pencils. Now I've sharpened these to a really sharp point and they don't need it. They are nothing like their other pencils. <clears throat> they really aren't. They are soft and it's like... I don't know how to explain it. I'm just seeing what they layer up like. They're just soft and buttery. Okay. For oil, I wouldn't have thought, let's put it that way, this one's champagne. I wouldn't have thought that they were oil based. They are so soft and creamy. This is champagne, what a beautifully subtle colour. So that will help. That would be a great like blender pencil when you're putting your highlights in. So wherever there is a dot, they will be the ones that aren't included in the 72 set, but come as their um, additional colours. It seems really dark. Okay, this is mustard. I'm trying to keep it the angle on the page so you can see. Um, this is the only downside to this book, it's quite big. It can be tri quite tricky to get your swatches done. But I'm desperate to use them in a colouring book, so... Mustard! This one is... Gold. So I'm trying to... I can't really liken them to anything. They are, I would say, softer than Polychromos, without a doubt. They feel waxy as opposed to hard oily. In fact, they feel softer than any of the other Derwents that I've ever tried, if that helps. Um, this is Amber Gold. Look at these gorgeous array of colours. You know, you can hear when people are swatching, and I listen for it, you can hear, almost hear, when pencils are soft. You can just, there's no friction. There's no, friction's probably the wrong word, but there is no resistance, no squeaking, no... You know, this one is Golden Sun. So this is one of the 28 new colours. I don't know how long they've been out, these additional colours, but I don't know how I've missed it. Golden Sun, isn't that beautiful? And then we've got... Now this one's shorter than the others, and that's my own fault because I sharpened it too much. These, the point I've got on these is not necessary. They are... Um, soft and beautiful, and you don't need that really long point because they're not wearing down. They're keeping their points quite well. That's while I'm swatching. I will let you know when we when I've done a page with them. So that was apricot. This is dark honey. Oh, see, and and also I'm heavy-handed with them, but I want to. I've got this real urge to colour a Rita Berman with them. A Rita Berman page. That's a lovely colour. I like that. So that was Dark Honey. This is Flame. So we're getting into our... Oh, that's gorgeous. Look how bright that is. Getting into our oranges. Now I could have done with this in my Carolina Kubikowska book just now. Gorgeous. Okay. Dark orange. Oh, that's my tummy. I do apologise if you've picked up on that. 
the breakages on these pencils, this is not their fault, it's mine. I've sharpened them too much and I'm pressing too hard. That's gorgeous. Aren't they lovely? They've thought through the colours well, haven't they? Look at that already, those shades that we've got there. You could almost blend each one of those into each other. Okay, this is Derwent Red. So I'm not going to release this video today. I am going to release it later on in the week when you've had... I've done two today, two videos. I did the Derwent... Um, complimentary pastel paints that go with the ink tents. Um, that's lovely, look at that. Just seeing how deep you can get it. Beautiful. Um, and I've done the colour along in Carolina Kupikowskas, so I shall release this later on in the week. This is strawberry. Just so you don't get loosey, loose it out. Again, sorry. Have a feeling that's gonna. I think later on when I was sharpening, I reduced the point on the sharpener. But that is definitely strawberry. Yeah, I like them. I think they're gonna become a fast favourite. This is scarlet. That's a gorgeous red, look at that. So if you want to see all the colours but this bores you, put me on speed two. So you get to see all the colours without listening to my incessant rambles. <laughs> Scarlet. <coughs> What's this one? Oh, autumn red. Now... Somebody asked what the difference was between these and any other Derwent pencils. Well, obviously, the light fastness, but they're oil-based, and some of these colours I have never heard of. And what is exciting, some of the ones that I have are in the Derwent drawing range, like Mars Red and Mars Violet. They've got that in this range. So that was Autumn Red. This is Cherry Red. So they're not selling us short on red, folks, and a lot of sets do. So some of these colours are completely unique to the light fast range, which is lovely. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Look at that. Just seeing how light I can go. Cherry red. Let me get in really dark now. This is chestnut. Oh, that's lovely. Look how oops, deep and rich that is. So if you're going to use these pencils, um, I would say sharpen them on a much smaller point because they don't need... They're so soft and creamy, you don't need that really long tip that I've ridiculously done here. This is Merlot. Beautiful wine. Just ignore me, folks. I'm going to carry on. Oh, they're so pretty. That's a gorgeous colour. Even that up. That's lovely. You get some real depth of colour with these very quickly. Okay, so now we've got Flesh Pink. Okay. Let's try this. It's very pale. I hope, oh, I hope you're going to pick up on it. I'm going to find all these little tips flying around my office somewhere, aren't I? That's beautiful colour. Not just for... Um, pale Caucasian um, skin tones but all sorts of things look at that that's really pretty okay back to the top 
And another new addition is cinnamon. Cinnamon. So, oh, beautiful. Really helpful for our skin shadows. That is similar to the cinnamon in the uh, polychromos colours. That one, I like that very much. That's beautiful. Okay, then we've got salmon. Again, all brilliant Caucasian skin colours. Just trying to deepen that up so you can get an idea of it because they're very pale. Isn't that beautiful? That's lovely. Very pale but beautiful. Dusky pink. Sorry about that. It was my husband calling up? Bless him. He's cooking me a dinner. Um, yeah. So dusky pink. Beautiful. Right. Then I've seemed to notice um, that there is like a, a white hint pencil in each almost colour range. This one is oyster, and I don't know if you can pick it up with the cut the light that I've got going on here, but. It is like um, a pink tint. There we go. Now I can see that, but I don't know if you'll pick it up. So you'll be able to do your highlights and blending with all those, with our pinks and skin tones with that oyster. Isn't that lovely? And then they do it later on in the set. There's a, um, a green, there's a blue, and there's a green, and we'll see we'll, as we come to them. Okay, this is um, magenta. I am so impressed. They are beautiful. Well, look at that. Is the neighbour's dog saying hello again? Gorgeous. Just look how easily they're laying down, and I'm barely touching that. Oh, they're lovely. Very, very impressed, folks. Okay, this one is Bordeaux. So these two were both from the new range. Gorgeous. Let's see how dark we can get that. Gorgeous. Beautiful colour. Okay. So that was Bordeaux. And I'm going to move my pencil case to this side. So now we've got Deep Rose. That one was didn't lay down as well as the others. Say a thing, people. I'm not going to say a thing. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous, though? That's lovely. Deep rose. Then we've got just purple, just plain purple. I wouldn't call that a plain purple. Look at that. It's a kind of dusky. Oh, that's beautiful. Really like that. Okay, so not that many pinks in this set. I'm noticing. <clears throat> okay, Mars Violet. This is the one that I was telling you about. This is a gorgeous colour that is in the Derwent Drawing Pencil set. We get 24 in there. And I was only saying the other day when I was using them, I wish they'd come out with, like another a 72 set of those and here we have those colours Mars Violet, beautiful they go nice together then we've got Heather let's move you up 
Heather. Oh, that's pretty. That's kind of a pinky. Beautiful. Um, this is Wild Lavender. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That is beautiful. Um, nightshade. Am I... Just trying to get my... There we go. Nightshade. Oh my gosh, look how deep that colour is. Look at that. That's impressive. So it's like you get the reaction of a prisma but you get the ability to keep the point and layer, if that makes any sense to anyone. Violet. Do you see what I mean? Look at that colour. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and I think I've this at this point, I could be wrong, there might be some more long points, but I think it was at this point that I thought, mm, I'm not going to sharpen them this long. So this is blue-violet, and that certainly is blue-violet. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope you don't mind sitting and doing with it, keeping me company while I do this. My swatching normally goes wrong somehow. This is mid ultramarine. Look at that colour. That's a beautiful colour. Mid ultramarine. Oh, love it. Love it. Then we've got deep blue. Oh, that's pretty too. Would be good for all those Kingfisher colours we want. I noticed there was a Kingfisher in one of Carolina's books. I contemplated doing a colour along with that, but the, um, obviously the one we've just done is the one I chose, which was that gorgeous owl. This is Sapphire. So like I said, as we go along, if it doesn't have a dot by it, it's included in the 72 set. If it has a dot by it, they will be your open stock to buy separate or go over to Derwent and get them in those cute little pencil tins. This is Denim. Could I have to hoover when I've done this? <laughs> when I've done this swatching. Okay. And we've got mid blue. So I'm wondering, we've got mid ultramarine, mid blue. I wonder if we get a dark blue. Midnight blue, 70% mid blue. Yeah. No. So this is mid blue. Another beautiful colour. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, midnight blue, seventy per cent. Okay. That's 
gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. It's midnight blue. Back to the top. We've got mid blue at 70% here now. Beautiful. Okay, midnight blue. Oh wow. Derwent, you've done it again. Well actually I would say Derwent you've outdone yourselves because these are probably the well they are. I haven't coloured a page yet, so we will see, but at the moment they are the nicest Derwents I've coloured with. So here's a blue, these like white tones I was saying. So we've got Arctic here. So I don't know if you'll pick this up, but it's that very pale blue. Can you see that? I don't think you can. But great again for highlights and blending. Dark Cyan, a new colour. There it goes. You're all just waiting for it, aren't you? <laughs> okay. That is beautiful. That is a real nighttime dark blue. It's lovely. Look at that. Lovely. Okay. Oh, I'm so pleased with these. Dark indigo. Oh, this is even darker and richer. think to that people that is gorgeous isn't it okay so that's a more grey that's dark that's blue out that's more grey I would say and we've got ocean blue this is one of the new ones as was dark cyan <laughs> goodness sake and actually they work better with a shorter So that's ocean blue. This is ocean blue dark. Very similar. Those two colours. Oh no, it's a bit greener. What do you think? Very similar though, aren't they, those two? Okay, dark turquoise. So if you're buying these open stock, they are almost, that one's, this is greyer, that one's greener I think. So this is dark turquoise. Again, beautiful rich colour. That's lovely. Really pretty. Then we've got um, Pacific Blue, a new colour. That's a nice sort of tearly blue. And we've got, okay, so we've got one of those whitey coloured ones. This is light aqua. See if you can see that, you, you can see this. It's a very pale, like mint colour. That's beautiful. Really good for water and highlights and, okay. Turquoise green. Gosh, that's bright and lovely. That really is turquoise green. Those two go brilliantly together, look. Okay, then we've got... Peridot. 
blue, peridot blue, oh gosh. Beautiful colours, aren't they? I love these greeny blue colours, these turquoises. Okay, mallard green as in the duck. And these all go so beautifully together, look. So you could shade those all the way up, couldn't you? <laughs> okay, next page of my thing. This is basil. Oh, that's pretty green. Look at that. This is one of the new ones. That's a gorgeous green. Really natural, beautiful green. I love it. That's a definite brilliant. And you know me and my greens. I get funny about whether they're kind of realistic or not. This is a vivid green. However, with these being oil, we should be able to work the magic like we do with the polychromos and blend over the top of colours and make new colours. Vivid green, that's nice. Okay. Then we've got peridot yellow. Okay, so we have, what did we have? Peridot blue, I think we did, didn't we? We have peridot blue. This is peridot yellow. Gosh, that's very bright. Brilliant green. Okay. Then we've got an overly sharpened pencil, spruce green. I hope you're still with me, folks. Oh, I love it already. That's beautiful. Look at that. That is lovely. I love it. Grey, green, very nice. And we've got pine. Oops. Oh. That is brilliant. That is a brilliant colour. Look at that. I longed for a green that is not too blue but really dark and they Derwent's done it look at that isn't that beautiful that is gorgeous oh what's this one this is racing green we have a lot of the little mini cars over here that are done in racing green Look at that, that's another beautiful green. Oh, I'm loving these. I'm loving them. Okay, I know I'm going to love this colour. This is green earth. Look at that already. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm in love with these greens. Look at those greens. Oh, so that was another new colour, but that is astonishingly beautiful. I love it. Okay, right. Let's move. Let's get you in shot for the next, the last run of pencils, people. So this is mountain green. Are they going to be able to keep it up for me? Yep. Oh, that's also beautiful. Yeah, I like that. These are beautiful, really, really lovely greens. I think the problem with some sets is that just their greens are too bluey. And Derwent have done a really good job of giving us some... This is grass green. Giving us some really true greens without that blue hint in all of them so that's that's a proper grass green really lovely um, so this is grass green 70% oh 
that's nice. Gosh, that's really soft, this one. Really, really, really soft. I think, like I said, I've over sharpened them, so don't make that mistake. They don't need to be on a really long point. And we're still going with these gorgeous greens. Oh, I'm so pleased. So this one is foliage. Oh, olivey, beautiful. So this one's got more yellow in it. Oh, I'm going to love these greens. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with leaves so much anymore. This one is a new colour and it's called Ivy. Oh, dark olive. Dark olivey tone. Look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, and those two will go well together. That's Ivy. This is Forest. I don't know why I'm trying to read it on the pencil. It's written on the page for me. Oh my goodness. Another beautiful dark green. Again, goes with all of those. Isn't that lovely? Not going to run out of green combinations in this set, are we? Oh, they're gorgeous. Love it. Really nice. Then we've got Olive Earth. Oh, I'm so impressed with the, <clears throat> the range of greens that they've put in these sets. In this set, rather. Well, no, these sets is right, it's two sets. Then we've got seaweed. Let's move you up, make sure you can see everything. Oh dear. Look at the colour you can get when you when I snap the end off and press a bit harder. I'm not now, but that side get some real dark depth of colour it's beautiful now this this colour like in green is in the um light fast not in the pro colours and I love this green and we're going really sort of yellowy and over the top of other colours I layered this when I was doing my posh colouring book and it I'm just gonna have to brush that away. And it gave the most gorgeous green. It's like a sort of goldy green, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay. Now we've got light bronze. It's a nice colour. So we're kind of going into our ochres now. Really creamy pencil. Beautiful. Warm Earth. This is a new colour. I can't remember if this is in the drawing set or not. Or I've just seen it in the Pro Colours. I can't remember. Not Pro Colours. The... Uh, colour soft. Gosh, getting all confused with me. Sets. Okay. Brown ochre. Oh, again, this is uber creamy, this one. Gorgeous. That's a lovely colour. Love that. Gotta love an ochre. Ochre's, ochre colours fix a lot of things. Okay, we've got yellow ochre. Tone things down, brighten things up. They're awesome. Okay. Yellow ochre. Lovely. Now we've got a really light one. Now this is in the Derwent drawing set and it's wheat. And so they've kind of put in these white toned pencils for each kind of section of colour. That is beautiful, and I love it in the Derwent drawing set. 
So to have it in this is incredible. Okay, sandstone. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's a beautiful terracotta type colour. Okay. We've got, not long, we've only got one more row, one more strip to do. Persian orange. So I'm going to colour, like I said, I'm itching to colour a Rita Berman with them. I don't know why, I just really feel like doing it. Um, that's a nice colour. And I will, when I do the, um, if we don't colour with them before, I'll let you know at the end of the month what um, what my thoughts are. Burnt Sienna. I'm kind of already knowing what it's going to be, and that is that these are incredible. I'm relieved when that sharp point snaps off, because you can colour better with them. Look at that. Beautiful. And you forget that these are oil. This is Mars Orange. So this is another one that I was talking about that's in the Derwent drawing set. I'm so glad they've introduced some of their colours. Mars Orange. Okay, we've got Sienna. Now, I like this. This would be good as well for um, skin shadows on Caucasian skin. There. Okay. And then another new colour is Autumn Brown. Oh, man. Creamy and creamy and creamy. Oh, that's really pretty. Let's lessen off the pressure and see what it's like. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a lovely colour. Okay, last little bit, folks, up to the top. So, a new colour is Raisin. <clears throat> Complementary to all our reds, that one. Okay, Venetian red. I use Venetian red quite a lot. And it's in my pastel set. So I went pastel pencils. And um, I use this on skin. It's a beautiful colour. Okay, then we've got Ruby Earth. Now I think that's a, one of the colours from the drawing set. Look at that. <sighs> Go well with Raisin. Uh, we've got Sapia Red. That's an unusual colour. Can you see that? That's a really nice brown colour. Brilliant for trees and all our botanicals. Okay, and we've got natural brown. That is beautiful. Oh, there it goes. That's proper brown, not too red, really nice. And we've got chocolate, let's move up, chocolate, thank you for sticking with me if you have. 
like I say, I'm desperate to use them and I didn't want to do that until I'd swatched them with you because somebody specifically asked me to do it so that's a almost black that chocolate okay Van Dyke Brown that's lighter in the polychromos the Van Dyke Brown's quite dark There we are, beautiful. Okay, I'm looking forward to this one. This is a taupe and it looks like a mauve colour. So let's see. This is one of the new ones. And it is kind of a browny sort of I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> browny like heathery colour. Go good with our uh, Mars Violet. That's nice. Okay, into our greys. So we've got Fossil Grey. Nice warm grey. That's nice. Then we've got Warm Grey. Let's move you up. Warm grey. We're nearly, nearly there at the end, folks. Okay, that's kind of a almost like a sort of ochery grey, if that makes any sense. Warm grey, that's nice. Okay, and then we've got moonstone. I'm assuming this would be quite pale. Sort of greeny grey. Pretty. And we've got a new colour which is cool grey. They're very similar. Very, very similar, those two. And we've got granite. That is a pretty colour. There we go, granite. Then we've got uh, platinum. Very nice. Very silver. Very nice. Cloud grey. Gosh, stormy cloud grey, very dark, but a nice range already of the greys, from warms through to colds. Um, mist, so this is a very pale one. So this will be our pale cool one, I should think. Yeah, very pretty. Then we've got Mars Black. Okay, so we've got Mars Black, Midnight Black and Black. Let's see what they're like. So this is... Oh. It's a brown. Just a very, very deep brown look. That's a really nice colour. It's like a sapia. A hint of red in it. Very nice, okay. Midnight black. Almost looks bluey, let's see. Yeah, it's got blue in it. That's a nice touch, that's a lovely colour. That's a really pretty colour. I like that. Yeah, really nice colour. Okay, and then we've got black. This is our test. Is it going to be opaque? Let's see. It's really soft and creamy. Um, 
and it's about as black as you're going to get it. Let's fade it out. Yeah, that's a good black. And the last but very not least is white. Just plain white, not Chinese white in this set. Let's try it. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Look how it's blocking out that line. Okay. So that is a brilliant white. <coughs> let, me <coughs> let me put my little kit to one side. I've got this beautiful array of broken tips here. So... Don't sharpen them as much as I did. Let's come out and have a look at these gorgeousness. Look at them. All 100 colours of delicious Derwentness. I'm really impressed with that white. It's covered up that line very well. Um, I'd love to do some skin with these. Some um, Caucasian skin. That flesh pink and the uh, peachy tones they've put in are great. I do feel, Derwent, if you're listening, and you'd like to bring out another few colours, we need some pinks. Desperately need more pinks. But alas, I shall have to mix them with your other sets. <laughs> there we are, folks. Thank you so much for following me and um, enjoying our gorgeous light fast pencils. I'm sure we'll have years of fun to come with them yet. All right, lovely people, I'll let you go. Thank you for sticking with me, um, if you did. <laughs> Take really good care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.